Hey guys, I'm Mateo de Angulo. I'm a 2012 Olympian for my country of Colombia and a former All-American here at Florida State. Today I'm going to show you around our beautiful Morecambe Aquatic Center, home to Florida State swimming and diving since 2008. So come on, let's go take a closer look. In here we have this lounge with a couple of computers, some, sofa, some sofas, and we have a big TV. Normally what we do here is, uh, before practice, we will come in here. If you need to finish like a paper or an online assignment, you come in here, uh, use one of the computers. The big TV, we normally use that to, to look at our races or when the coaches um, film our stroke to see if we're having a good stroke mechanics. And as you can see, we have plenty of space to just sit around and relax before or after practice. This is our dryland area. We come here before or after practice and just work on our, on our core and overall our strength. We use med balls such as, this, such as these, we use bow suits, we use the Vasa trainers, jump ropes, just to make us stronger overall. And the stronger you're out here in, the, in, the, in land, you're the faster you're gonna be in the water. This is where the divers do the dry line work. As you can see, they got two dry boards such as this, these. They got some ropes and pulleys in order to work on their dives and their mechanics and not being afraid to get hurt. They got a trampoline over there that also helps them, helps them practice on their dives. This is our diving well. It is one of the best outdoor diving facilities in the entire world. FSU has hosted numerous USA diving events over the past years, including the 2013 World Championship Diving Trials. As you can see, we have a pair of one meter competition springboards and two three meter springboards that are used the most. In addition, we have five platforms of one, three, five, seven and a half, and 10 meters, all of which are 10 feet across. The coolest feature about this diving well is the sparger. Its purpose is to soften a diver's impact during entry while practicing platform and three meter dives. So whenever our divers are trying out new dives, this helps with their safety as they hit the water. Behind the tower is the hot tub. Its purpose is to, is to keep the divers warm in between dives and keep their muscles warm, but also relaxed. This is our competition pool. This is where I spend most of my time uh, ever since I got here. This is actually the pool from the 2005 Montreal Canada World Championships. As you can see right now, it is switched to long course. And when we swim this way, we have obviously eight lanes by 50 meters, but the pool can also be transformed to short course. When we do that, we'll move the bulkhead out to 25 yards and have a 25, 25 yard by eight lane competition pool. And then after the bulkhead, we'll have a certain number of lanes to warm down and warm up for our next race. The pool can also be set to be short course, short course all the way across. When we do this, we have at least 30 lanes. So that means there, there's plenty of practice space for all of our swimmers. And we tend to not have more than three or four swimmers to a lane, which is great for practicing. I remember my favorite memory in this pool is when we beat Florida in 2010. In here, in Morecambe, it was a, under the lights meet. It was like at six o'clock in the afternoon. It was awesome. This is the newest addition to Morecambe Aquatic Center our scoreboard. We use our scoreboard for meat, obviously, but this Dactronics video board also has a pace clock for practice. It's pretty useful no matter what lane you swim in or where you are in the pool, you can see it from anywhere. Behind me are the women's and men's locker rooms. Not only do they serve as bathrooms for the general public that comes here to swim at Morecambe, but inside there's also a team room for the obviously the men's and women's team. In these team rooms we have our lockers where we can keep our suits, goggles, caps, and just obviously our clothes when we're out here swimming. I hope you enjoyed our tour around the beautiful Morecambe Aquatic Center. Remember, for more information on the Florida State Swimming and Diving Team, make sure to check out Seminoles.com. Go Knowles.